Hello uh, guys, welcome back. Today I'm just going to do a bit of a video, not a big one, for uh, a bloke whose channel I like to watch. His name is Jay Kinnell, K-I-N-N-E-L-L, -L, I think he spells it. Um, he's got a, uh, a channel named after himself that he um, has restored an old 60 series Land Cruiser. I was watching him yesterday making a cup of tea on his tailgate and I just thought I'd show him my table. So anybody else who's interested gets to watch as well. Don't worry about the dirt. I used to go camping uh, quite a lot um, in this car and uh, since I've moved out to the country, we hardly go camping at all because I'm already here. But anyway, that's beside the point. On the back here, um, I removed the old carpet. I'll just check you can see that. You can. And uh, replaced it with a piece of plywood. You often have trouble when, you, when you're preparing food or cooking or whatever, um, where things disappear down the gap where the hinges are. And you're forever fishing stuff out of there. But if you've um, replaced that bit of Go, replace that bit of uh, carpet with something like this. You just fold the flap out over the top there. I've got a couple of, uh, I think they call them piano hinges, on the top there between the two pieces. One here and one over there. And uh, I've just screwed it straight in, straight through the metal. I didn't bother lining up the punch holes or anything. Uh, but uh, this has been on there at least 15 years and uh, I just went around, filled up a couple of little holes and varnished it. Um, when I was using it for cooking and things, it was nice and clean. Um, these days it's uh, the back of the dog truck. But uh, just that simple flap here and uh, something that you can wipe down makes the whole back of your uh, tailgate a whole lot more usable. And it's still a, a comfortable seat when you're just drinking your cup of tea and looking out. Um, Recent years, this has become more of a dog truck than anything else. Uh, you can see I've got a couple of kennels in the back there, or one kennel and a space where the dogs like to ride. I can open up the back of the tailgate here, or just the top half, and they get nice fresh air in there, and uh, they can't jump out. I normally leave the I normally leave the back closed so they can't get through there. This is an old cargo barrier out of a Ford um, I managed to line it up and make it fit I think I bought it for 10 bucks at a, at a garage sale uh, I'll just quickly show you the I used to have a set of drawers in the back here that went as a good combination with the table um, I'll just show you those I don't use them in the car anymore don't have a need for them I sat around in storage for a long time and uh, I had to find a new use for them before Mrs. Shed maybe get rid of them. I'll just show you those. Okay, you, you can see here, I've just made a piece of plywood um, to go on top of them. Some uh, legs out of some hardwood, pretty much off cuts that I had lying around. And uh, you can, underneath, it was like, uh, I think they call that marine carpet. Um, this side has a, a fridge slide on it, so give you a, unlock it. Hasn't been open in a long time. Uh, you'd have your fridge bolted down to this. It's got some tie down points in various spots. That way you can dig into the top without having to crawl inside the car. When you finish, you just slide your fridge back in. And under here, you've got your drawers. They come all the way out. And uh, you can put all your food and whatever stuff you want to in there. I've just got car parts and things in it these days. And they're on. They're on uh, nice rollers with uh, all non-rattle stuff. And this one's the same. That's all the way out. You've got a bit of space. There's the back in there. Bit of space there. Put all your stuff. A movable divider. I had these custom made and they cost about 
1500 bucks to get done but you could knock up something yourself with a bit of ingenuity without spending a whole pile of money you can buy steel ones and all sorts of things um, they just use the uh, the car's tie down points to fix down so there's no changes in the car four bolts down underneath you can take the top off when you want to put them in and uh, all bolts down can't move anywhere and uh, that's exactly the length up to the back of the back seat when it's up and uh, if you've got your back seat folded down you can just store all sorts of stuff in there this was absolutely fabulous for camping and uh, especially when you're in your car where you're not unpacking everything when you stop if you're doing uh, moving every day you want to take as little out of the possible as little out of the car as possible so you'd have your tailgate open and you you know putting things up on top here or getting your food out of the shelves or your, your cooking stuff out of the other side and it all works really well so if you want to bother making one of those it's well worth it and uh, people used to see it in the back of my car either when I was camping or even mechanics and people like that would say where'd you get your drawers Dave and I'd have to tell them that uh, they uh, I had them custom made uh, depending on your car if you've got a newer car you'd be able to find some uh, pre-built ones because they, they make them for the you know, popular models but uh, my car was uh, already 15 years old when I had these done so that was uh, there were no custom made ones around oh no pre-made ones they're all custom jobbies anyway just thought I'd show you that enough blabbering on from me uh, so when you see me working on my bench you know what holds it up now thanks for watching guys we'll see you on the next one can't really see you.